Hey YouTube. YouTube! So it's a rainy day here in California, finally. And I kind of have food poisoning. Yeah, I. Yeah. We, we were making a video this week and I really, really, really didn't want to do this one by myself. So yeah. I'm dragging Jay Yeah, and I've been in bed all day and I've been throwing up and doing other things, but Brian will not make a video by himself. Um, so Too much information. In order to get our weekly video done, I am sitting here with my Sprite, not at my 100% best, so my handsome husband can feel secure. What a trooper you are. <laughs> okay. okay, now on to the video. So we've said before that it's really important that we tell our stories and that we get our stories out there, not only as individuals, but also as families. And in that theme today, we actually have a couple of books to show you guys. Two books. Well, a book and an almost book. And a competition. Yeah. Well, not really a competition. It's more of a, a helping us out kind of thing, and you guys can win a prize. Does it sound better? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So, would you like me to start with my book, or would you like to start with No. My book? So, before I let Brian talk about this very special book that we're going to review, um, there's actually an artist by the name of Luca Panzini. He's Italian, but he lives in London, and he actually writes kids' books. And he reached out to us probably about a year ago and said that he had been watching our channel, and he was inspired by our family, and he wanted to make an LGBT kids' book based on adoption and how families come to be together. So he has basically went through all of our videos, looked, uh, watched our adoption journey videos, which actually leads back to this book we're going to review, and come up with a really, really incredible book. Now this is the rough draft of the kids' book, and it's got a really neat story, and it's got some really neat drawings in it, and it's actually done. And he has, you know, he's finished coloring it in, he's finished doing all the pictures and the actual editing, and now he wants us to get your help on what to call the book. So you guys, a lot of you guys have been with us from the very beginning. We've been doing YouTube videos for five years now, and you got to see our journey. And what we're looking for is the book is, the overall title is Gay Family Values, but we're looking for a name of the book. And basically the book is the first, maybe, I don't know, Couple year of our family's existence, how me and Brian came to be together, and how we came to adopt our kids. So we're looking for a title of the book, and we are basically going to make this a competition. If you guys think of a really cool name on, on our adoption story or whatever you come up with, the winner will get a signed copy of the new kids' book, which should be out in a month or so. And we're pretty excited about it. Put my X on it. Yeah, we're going to sign it. Maybe Selena will draw a little picture in the back for you guys. Maybe we'll even get Jedi to put a pop print on it for yeah, you. That's awesome. So I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. It's basically about LGBT adoption and how different types of families come together. So think kind of... So there will be other families in it? Um, yeah, but not, I mean, like a page each. Like, you know, some people have a grandmother, some people have two moms, some people have two dads. It's kind of just kind of like a beginning. Yeah. Yeah, it's mostly about us. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's all about us. No. But uh, it should be, you know, it's, I'm looking forward to seeing the finished product, and it'd be really cool that you guys get to help name it. So, uh, like I said, whoever comes up with the winning name gets a signed copy of the book. So just feel free to, you know, write it in the, the comment section here, and Luca Panzini will, will take a look at that, and he will, he will choose the winning title. Luca. Okay, now on to the important book, because this is a book that actually I was supposed to go into San Francisco and be at a book signing the other day, and I actually didn't get the opportunity to do that because I've had food poisoning. So I'm going to let Brian go ahead and review it since he has officially finished reading the book. Okay, let me stop there. Right, I'll stop talking. So if you're like me and on gray rainy days you love to read, this would be a great book for you. A Song for Lost Angels by Kevin Fisher Paulson, and it basically details their journey from deciding to become a family through foster care and sadly, this is not a book where it's a happy ending where the family comes together and everybody's happy at the end. It's sort of about losing their first children, and that's why it's called A Song for Lost Angels. And, you know, Kevin tell, tells a very engaging story that'll make you laugh and make you cry, and make you wonder what the heck. There will be some amazing moments of homophobia and discrimination that just make you think... Who would say that? You know, what what human being with a heart would say that? 
So you will be engaged. You will be emotionally moved. And it's a good story not only for people who are interested in LGBT families, but for those who are interested in adoption and the things that can happen, both in the positive and the negative. Mm -hmm. Now, even though this book does not end so well, and it's a little bit of a tearjerker, I happen to know from Kevin's story that he does have a happy ending and that they do find the children that are meant to be right for them and that they're building a happy life right now together. And we know this because Paulson is actually one of my bosses in the San Francisco Sheriff's Department. So he's actually a captain in my department, and you know him and his partner are really cool people. That and from you guys who've watched our past adoption story videos, we talk about a gentleman that actually sent us, sent us on our way mm -hmm. to the adoption agency where we actually found our kids. And Paulson was that guy. He actually, yeah. you know, we were having a really hard time finding a pro-gay uh, adoption agency. And Paulson had adopted his kids through a company out of Oakland, and he directed us to TLC. Mm -hmm. So if it wasn't for Paulson, we may not be the family we are today. So I really do appreciate his And help. we wouldn't be here talking to you. It's yeah. sort of a really big chain of events yeah. that began yeah, with this that book. individual right there. <laughs> so do me a favor. I'm going to put a link to the, to the Amazon uh, link to the book. And if you guys want to read a really cool story mm -hmm. about a really amazing family, uh, pick up this book, share it. You know, it's always nice to to actually support LGBT writers, and in this case, you're supporting a guy who actually got our family together. So it'd be, a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty pretty cool book. Yeah. So until next time, you two, I'm going back to bed. Bye. Get out there and read something, people. Were you hiding in the background the whole time? She's photobombing our video. Was it a noise then? You're a video bomber. Photobomb would shoot if she'd done this. Walk by. <laughs>